Our help is in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Good evening. Good evening. We celebrate the vigil of the solemnity of the Holy Trinity. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth. So by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. say together the second form of the confidier on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to do an act of kindness for someone else sometime in the next couple of days. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you. And with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. <coughs> okay. Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O Holy Trinity, Triune God, our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Turn our wanderings into a pilgrimage, drawing us ever closer to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, living and reigning as one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading. The 
first reading, a reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down in the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please respond, glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy name, glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above from ever. Glory and praise forever. The second reading, a reading from the Saint, second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord.
God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him might not perish but have eternal life. So it's taken from today's gospel according to St. John in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this particular verse came to my mind as I was mowing the lawn on Friday, yesterday, because of a song that was playing in the background as someone was passing by by Keith Urban that came out very recent, well, a few years ago, called John, John Cougar, John Deere, John 316. How appropriate that was playing as I was on a John Deere lawnmower. But it also serves to remind us as to what the essence of the Trinity truly is. The Father, who gave life to the Son, who sent the Holy Spirit. Now, that might seem like a very easy concept to get. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Okay. But have you ever taken any time at all and really started to think about it? How do they work together? How does it all come about? How did it all begin? When we start doing that, we start getting into some real mysterious thinking. And it's called a mystery in the church, not because it's like a Sherlock Holmes type of mystery, but because it's something that we as created beings struggle to comprehend because of how we are in our time-bound reality. God, of course, lives outside of time, so until we meet him, we will never be able to understand exactly how it all works. But we do know the basics, right? In fact, one of the great doctors of the church, St. Augustine, was pondering this for two, three years, and he was walking along a seashore, a beach, and he came upon a child who had a bucket, and there was, he had dug a hole in the sand and was putting water from the sea into, this, into the hole. And he asked the child, what are you doing? He said, I am emptying out the sea into the beach. And St. Augustine said to him, that'll take an eternity. And he said, that is what God wanted you to know about what you are thinking about. And he disappeared. It was indeed the archangel Gabriel sent to give him a message that this side of heaven, a doctor of the church would never understand it, let alone you and I. But that doesn't stop us from believing, right? Because we, it wouldn't be faith if it was something that we could completely know, right? But we do know enough that Jesus told us and we can trust in what he told us as apostles handed it down to us. So maybe we can spend a little bit of time in prayer this week to the Father, to the Son, and indeed to the Holy Spirit each as the individual person in the Trinity, so that we can pray to all three aspects of the one God and maybe get a tiny bit better understanding, even though we will never completely have it. Because what we really need to know, aside from John Cougar and John Deere, is God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Trusting that God hears and answers our prayers, we now approach him with all of our needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that she may never ever more effectively proclaim Christ who leads all to the Father and the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may listen to one another with respect and mutual understanding and be instruments of Christ's priests. peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all married couples and families, that they may be witness to and examples of the love of the Blessed Trinity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, especially those on the parish prayer list, that they may find strength and endurance in the love of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. And for whom this Mass is being offered for, Stanislaw Straplonsky, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased family and friends, and those who will die today, that they may be welcomed into the joys of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, you will that all people share in your triune life. Hear these, our prayers, that we might one day enjoy everlasting life in you. We ask all these things, spoken and unspoken, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. May the God of hope fill you with, with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So you want to have all creation through this, so it's white off or free fire, and that's going to become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice, which we have prepared for the glory of the Holy Name. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord our God, Trinity in unity, as we offer our gifts of self and substance, we ask you to make them holy. Grant us an understanding of your inner life, for to that living mystery we have been called. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what we believe of your glory through, revel through your revelation, we also believe of your Son and of the Holy Spirit without difference or distinction. In confessing the true and eternal God Godhead, we, ad we adore the distinction of persons oneness in being, and equality in majesty. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy Sacrifice, the Mass continues with the Eucharist Prayer 2, which is found on page 82. And yes, you can resume kneeling at this time. We have thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your Word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you are well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant and to manifest his resurrection, he took bread, he gave you thanks, and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, this is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Together, calling them his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup we thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, now and forever and ever. Amen. Page 95, let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we are many one body, for we all partake of the one bread. 
May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord, Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Let's say together the first communion prayer on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. For those who are joining us online and for personal reasons cannot receive the body and blood of Christ today, please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Entwine my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord.
grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and source of the Spirit, you are the creator of all that exists and the originator of all that is good. You loved us in Christ even before the world was formed. Grant through this Holy Eucharist that our whole lives may only be a return to you from our first beginning through baptism in your holy name to our final goal. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass this evening. Thank you for the wonderful music, Bert, and everyone for coming. Hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Remain in a state of grace and spread joy wherever you go.